Blog Talk Radio. Hello everyone and welcome to my show. I'm your host Diana Bellaros, award-winning and best-selling author of Aranais, The Journey of Transformation and the Wife Within. You can find out more about me on my website, dianabellaros.com, as well as to download today's podcast and my past podcasts. I would love for you to subscribe to my um, podcast. It's very easy. You can use your Facebook account and um, create if you want your station and just push subscribe so you're not going to be able to miss it any of my podcasts for with useful information i'm sure you will benefit from it and today i'm going to cover a very important topic it's called acceptance because most of the time people feel like they can uh, change people or they can uh, they don't like uh, part of somebody they feel like if they change that then I'm going to allow them to be in my life let me um, be clear that people don't change if they don't want to change and they don't they ch- don't change if they don't see issue with the way they um, act or uh, if they're in a relationship with somebody who doesn't like this part of them you need to accept people the way they are and you need to accept people from different cultures also because this is absolutely, absolutely important, especially right now in the world we live in. Uh, we need to want to accept each other. It doesn't matter what kind of race we belong to, although there is one race called human race. And um, so we can change the world and make a difference and make it a better place. And uh, if you don't like you know, something, somebody don't feel like you, this person is good for you or uh, his actions are not um, something you would like to accept. The only thing you need to do is distance yourself from them or tell them, and if they don't understand that they're doing something wrong, you need to understand that this part of them is going to be there, and you need to find a way to deal with it, or you need to just leave them out of your life. These are the options you have. So, and today I found some articles also from other people from their point of view about um, acceptance because acceptance is really, really important. People don't understand how pivotal is this topic, acceptance, because they feel like somebody should be like them. They feel that somebody should have the same culture as them. Somebody should uh, talk about them, should act like them, should dress like them. It's absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. That's what I can tell you. It's not something that somebody has to do just because there is a person who doesn't like them just because uh, the way they act, the, the way they dress, who they are as a person, and what are their views about life. So these are the things which you can do is distance yourself from these people because you feel like you don't like them or you feel like this person should change their ways and uh, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. So uh, it's the same thing if somebody makes you do something you don't want to do. So here is an article I found. Accept them as they are. In what ways do you wish the people were different? This is by Rick Hansen, Ph.D., your wise brain, that's what, how he calls himself. I admitted whether close to home or far away, I wish some people were different depending on who they are. I wish they'd stop doing things like leaving cabinet doors open in our kitchen, sending the spam emails, or turning a blind eye to global warming. And I wish they would start doing things like being friendlier, toward me or spending more money on public education. Even if it doesn't affect me directly to their own sake, I do wish the various people I care about were more energetic, less anxious, or less self-critical. In what ways do you wish the people were different? Think about the people close to you, friends, family, mates, as well as co-workers, drivers on the highway, business people, media types, politicians, and world leaders. 
Think about people who are not doing their share of housework, not getting you the health care you need, promoting political policies that you dislike, if not despise. It's normal to wish that others were different, just like it's normal to wish that you, yourself, were different, thinner, richer, wiser. It's fine to try to influence others in skillful, ethical ways. But problems come when tip into righteousness, resistance, anger, fault fighting, badgering, or any other kind of struggle. Over the past several months, I have been writing jots about my personal top five practices, all tied to its first place, which are be mindful, love, take in the good, go green, and open out. Opening out, my current f- focus means relaxing into a growing sense of connection, even honestness with all things. This is hard to do when we are struggling with other people. Instead, we could accept them for who they are and not for who they are not. Accepting people does not itself mean agreeing with them, approving of them, waiving your own rights, or downplaying their impact upon you. You can still take appropriate actions to protect or support yourself or others, or you can simply let people be. Either way, you accept the reality of the other person You may not like it, you may not prefer it, you may not feel sad or angry about it, but at a deeper level, you are at peace with it, that one is a blessing. And sometimes you shift acceptance can help things get better. How? Pick someone who is important to you. You can do this practice with multiple people. In your mind, out loud, or in writing, say things like this. And see how you feel. I accept you completely. Countless causes, large and small, have led to the think, speak, and act the way you do. You are who you are. I let it be. You are a fact, and I accept the facts in my life. You and I are part of the larger whole. That's what it is, and I accept it too. If you think like, be more specific, naming aspects of this person that particularly bother you, such as I accept that you snore, leave your clothes on the floor, are still angry with me, have little natural interest in sex, are fighting me tooth and nail in this divorce, don't really understand me, are not a good teacher for my child, break the law, hurt people on a large scale. And remember that you can still disagree with, make requests of or stand up for other people while accepting them fully. See if you can tolerate what comes up for you when you soften your acceptance. Often we avoid accepting other people as a way to avoid feelings we would have it. If we open wide to everything there and everything they're not, I'm sorry, consider how you have gotten tangled with this other person, struggling to change them. What I do this myself, I became aware of my own rightness, positionality, judgments, pushiness, irritability, narrow views, hurt, longings, grievance, or remove. See if you can let go of some, even all of this and Entanglements open to the easing relief and peace that can come when you do. Also consider how much you like it when you feel that another person accepts you completely. This is a beautiful gift and we can give it ourselves to others when we accept them. Imagine how it might improve your relationship with someone if that person felt you accepted him or her fully. Acceptance is a gift that gives back. So I love this, that acceptance a gift that gives back. Absolutely amazing article. I love it so much. So anyway, it's really, really important to understand uh, these several things. Um, and uh, don't be stubborn and it comes to religion as well. 
accept people the way they are so they can accept each action and reaction. It's so simple to understand. Don't be stubborn. Don't be um, anything. You don't want somebody to be uh, with you. So uh, this is going to make a big, huge difference in the life uh, per se, and it's going to make transform the world. Acceptance, acceptance, acceptance. Practice it every day. Think uh, when you try to judge somebody, when you try to hate somebody, uh, just because they're not on the same hamster wheel, you need to understand that um, you're not going to like if somebody makes you do things you are not agree with and if somebody even wants you to make your religion, your views and everything else. So um, it's absolutely, absolutely pivotal topic nowadays. Here's another article, how to accept others for who they are rather than who you want them to be. This is, comes to relationships also. It's really important if there is something in your a spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend that you don't like, you cannot be agree with it. Understand that your job is not to change them. It's their job. If they want, if they feel like they have issue with the way they act or the way they perceive everything, they're going to change it. But they're not going to change it uh, if they don't see any issue. And they're not obligated to change anything about them, the part of themselves. Uh, they don't feel like they're doing something wrong. And again, this comes to religion comes to um, the way they perceive life and uh, if they want to belong to a certain group, group of people or they just uh, want to be by themselves. <clears throat> the world is a complicated place full of diverse individuals all trying to make sense of what's going on around them. It's easy for us to try to impose our own worldview on those around us. Thinking that our point of view is more important, more insightful, or more enlightened than those with different opinions. The problem with that perspective is that few people want to entertain the notion that if they might be wrong about how they perceive the world to be. And those that want to change the opinions of others often do a terrible job of convincing without insulting or offending. All too often, we see people digging their heels on beliefs when they feel attacked, particularly if they don't feel like there is a problem with how they see the world. And you know what? It may be the case that the person trying to do the convincing is wrong, or more likely that there is no con concrete wrong or right. The ability to accept other people for who they are rather than who you want them to be is important for everything, for healthy relationship, relationships, for maintaining professionalism in a workplace, to positively influencing the people around you. There is something powerful in making connection with a person who accepts you as you are and they accept as they are. How do you do that? Understand that it's impossible for you to know everything. And I'm going to highlight this. Understand that it's impossible to you to know everything. The key to accepting, to accepting others for who they are is are this mental one's own ego. Humans are judgmental, creators by nature. We often feel like we need to have an opinion or anything that strokes the smallest flame of our emotion. And when we get emotional, we often tend to stop thinking clearly. How many times have you made a bad decision while you were feeling emotional about the situation? Probably more than once. But we don't need to have an opinion on every single little thing in the world. In fact, it is often better if you don't because they can be more open and receptive to new ideas and perspectives. Every person that you cross paths with life will know things you don't know, have experience you haven't experienced, and carry a different worldview than you do. These are great things. These are great things. It makes every person a learning opportunity when you can set aside your own perspectives to simply listen and be with the person in the inner world. 
So we are at the end of the show. This is really important. Learn to uh, be curious because curiosity is a good thing. It's not a bad thing because curiosity could take you to so many levels and at the same time it's going to make you uh, be more open-minded and open-hearted because that's what we need right now. People want to uh, be uh, who they want to be. They don't want to be changed again. They don't want to be taught how to think, how to feel. The, and if you open your heart and be, cur- be curious, you have no idea how much you're going to learn and how much love you're going to surround yourself with. And at the same time, your heart is going to open and you're going to feel much better for yourself. Because if you learn this skill, you're not going to experience these um, unnecessary feelings like hating, judging. Judging is like a virus. It's like a COVID-19. Absolutely, absolutely spread everywhere all over the world. Don't judge people because you don't know how they perceive life. And it just because you feel like you're right, at the end you're wrong. That's what I can tell you. Because every truth has four angles and um, everybody is allowed to be who they want to be without a permission. Everybody is allowed to do the things that makes them. And uh, it's absolutely uh, pivotal to practice acceptance. I hope this podcast is going to make a difference in your life. And this is what is the truth. The truth is being accepting and nothing else. And this is going to create a much better life for everyone. If you don't want to see the pain, if you don't want to feel, see people who are resentful, angry, and hateful, you need to start practicing acceptance because, again, people don't come from the factory. They are uh, beautiful, unique creatures that are need to... Uh, follow their path to be who they want to be, to perceive the life they want to perceive, and it doesn't mean that you're wrong. If they're not on your path, it doesn't mean they're lost. So thank you so much for being with me. There is some exciting news yesterday. I released my uh, other single called I'm an Angel. At the same time, I released my other album. I have um, agreement signed with this label company. It's uh, full of amazing lullabies singing, women singing from all over the world with different language. It's available on Spotify, iTunes, everywhere where digital music is sold, as well as my single written by me from my heart. I'm an angel, and the idea came that so many people are telling me that one of my wings is broken, so that's why I wrote these songs. I hope you love it, and I wish you an amazing weekend. Please be safe. Please be happy. Do the things that make you and try to make a difference with the way you perceive others because this is really important. Love you from all my heart and soul. Please subscribe to Load the Podcast today. It's available to download for free and share it, share it, share it.